Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today I wanted to introduce you to the Sabiki UTG rod from Akuma. So the Sabiki rod is basically designed for fishing your Sabiki bait jigs, for jigging bait to then go and target larger predatory species. So you may be familiar with those Sabiki jigs, six hooks, four hooks, they have a, a different range of hooks on that jig and they're an absolute pain in the butt to store, becoming tangled and snagged and all that sort of thing. So the idea with the sabiki rod is that our sabiki jig is retrieved inside the actual rod that makes storage nice and easy and we minimise that, that tangling and that snagging of the sabiki jig. So our UTG from Akuma, sabiki UTG, we have basically completely redesigned the sabiki rod to overcome the shortcomings that frustrated anglers have told us about in terms of sabiki rods so our rod is seven foot three so it's a few inches longer than other sabiki rods and that allows you to store more of the commonly used brands of sabiki inside the rod without them hanging outside the tip there so that little bit of additional length allows us to store more sabiki brands in that rod in terms of design, we've got a, a two-piece design, so the butt section of that rod comes off for easy transportation and storage. And unlike other rods out there, this Sabiki rod is designed with a butt join. So basically our join is below where we feed our line into the rod. So the problem with others is that they have a join above there. So when you're trying to feed the rod, that join can be a bit of a hassle and cause you issue and also when you retrieve that sabiki jig inside the rod the swivel on the sabiki can jam up on that join as well so by removing that join moving it down into the butt section we're overcoming those problems there really nice clean feeder system inside here and your utg will come with a feeder wire as well multi-strand feeder wire with a loop in the end there so you can simply feed your line into the loop feed that wire through and pull your line through the length of the rod and then attach your sabiki jig and you are ready to go. So another feature of this rod is its rating. It's rated 10 to 20 pound. So the rod actually has a little bit of flex in the blank compared to some of the poles that are out there, which aren't real nice to fish with. So it's actually got a little bit more movement in the rod, which will give you more transfer to more movement in the jig as well. So you're gonna get more action out of that jig with less work and it's gonna be much more fun to fish with as well. Another aspect that's been redesigned, you can check out that tip section, unique tip section on this rod. It's like a, a funnel system for your jig so that your jig doesn't get fouled on the tip. So what we found with other sabiki rods out there is that funnel or trumpet design on the tip, the hooks on the jigs will actually catch on the outside of the funnel, which can be a pain in the butt when you're trying to retrieve that jig, that sabiki jig into the rod, and it continually catches there. The other place where it catches is where that funnel type tip joins the rod blank. So both of those issues have been overcome, and this rod will retrieve that sabiki jig inside there, no issue. So nice and smooth and easy to get that sabiki jig both in and out of the rod for when you want to go and, and jig those slimy mackerel and other other bait fish that like those sabiki jigs. So there you go, seven foot three, two piece with a butt join, redesigned funnel system in the end there, that trumpet section, so that we avoid those issues. Suitable or a spin reel or an overhead reel, so whichever way you prefer to jig your bait. And that is gonna be an awesome option for those, whether you're jigging bait land-based fishing to live baits and mangrove jack and those sorts of things, or whether you're out offshore and you're wanting to jig a stack of live bait to go and chase some blue water speedsters or some reefies. So there you go, Sabiki UTG from Akuma. Check it out at akuma.com.au. Fish on.